all I'm saying is, is that there's a universe out there where all this works in our favor. And we get it. We beat the Bills in the first game. In that uh-huh. universe, in that universe, we have Tom Brady as QB, bro. Because that that's <laughs> the only person that I've seen have, have it done. Hey, yo, what's good, Fin Nation? Happy New Year. Welcome to the number one show for the Miami Dolphins here at FIU. It's your boy, Seven Big Wapo Rodriguez. I'm Alfredo, the leader of two and on forever. And it's your boy, Ant. The truth? Nah, not the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Fin Tang. Um, bro, what's going on with the Dolphins, man? I mean... We said we had we had to win this game. We said we had to win this game. And they and they yeah. don't. And they just they, they just lose, man. They're going into 2023 with an L, bro. And this is this is tragic. This is horrendous. Yeah, dude, I think the Dolphins are genuinely cursed. There's no way that we have this season uh, this the star studded team, Tua finally playing like Alabama Tua. Uh, we go to eight and three. We're we're having dreams of a Super Bowl, man. We start that that San Francisco game with a touchdown on the first play. We're all screaming division champions, conference champions, man. And then everything went down, downhill after that. This is actually the most tragic ending to a Dolphin season I've ever seen, man. And it just makes me think like no matter what we do, this team just can never get it done, regardless of who we have. It's crazy. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most sad seasons it's has been watching um from a fan's perspective i'm sure the players are all like just confused on what happened because it seemed like the dolphins had this season like in the bag kind of we were all predicting super bowl at least appearance uh deep playoff run and it's gonna take a miracle to even make it at this point so this has definitely been one of the most disappointing seasons uh sucks to watch man it's really hard to watch right now yeah i was gonna say it was gonna it wasn't i don't think it was the saddest but definitely the most disappointing towards the end i mean i hate to be that guy but you know i i kind of told y'all so like when we did the whole spicy challenge and we said the whole hot take stuff and i was like the the dolphins are in a super bowl team i mean we're we're gonna end up uh praying for our playoff appearance mike uh daniels isn't that isn't that guy you know I wish I was wrong, but I have what you call eyes and I can see, you know, and I saw what was happening. And I'm just like, bro, this, this isn't, this isn't what everyone's been saying. These are all everyone, what everyone's saying are biased. They're, they're Dolphins fans and they're just praying for the best, which is good for a fan base. That's what you're supposed to do. But like, from what I was seeing, it wasn't, it wasn't all that convincing towards me. They were great for the first half of the season. But then ever since that that 49ers game, they've just been on a five-game losing streak. And it's not over yet, all right? There's still technically a chance. All we I mean, need, yeah. all, all the I, Dolphins I, need, is to beat the Jets and for the Patriots to lose to the Bills. And how hard could that be? That's realistically possible. Yeah, I think our odds are actually still pretty good to make the playoffs. Uh, after all this has happened, uh, we're still in a good place. But... I don't know, man. That Those two games kind of seem like a trap to me. The Jets have nothing to play for, but we know that these division rivalries mean a lot, uh, and they're going to take a lot of pride in taking us out of the playoffs if they can. Um, and the Bills are in a really sticky situation right now. Obviously, we know what happened to uh, DeMar Hamlin. Obviously, we all hope that he's all right, um, but I doubt that football is the first thing on their mind right now, and it shouldn't be, you know, but... It, that game can go either way as well. They're going to probably be playing for the first seed too, which really sucks for them to have to play for that much considering everything that's happening. But although we're all just still looking solid to make the playoffs, I'm not feeling super confident. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, definitely. The The whole situation with Hamlin is, is really sad. But and like you said, the NFL still hasn't really said how they're going to let that play out for the first seed now that there's – this whole dilemma with the game not being played. So it's going to be interesting. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm a little nervous about the Jets game. You know, I think Skyler's going to be starting. Have you guys heard anything other than that? 
Uh, it looks like Skyler is going to be the guy because I think Teddy is out uh, for sure. And yeah. they're they're moving forward as if Tua won't clear concussion protocol uh, in time. So he has to clear, I think, by Friday at the very latest to play, which it's not looking good right now. So it's probably going to be Skyler. Yeah. And, you know, Skyler, he showed some things, especially in that last drive. He threw that, that nice touchdown, but he still looks very raw out there. And I just – yeah, I don't like our chances because the Jets actually do have a good defense. And against the rookie quarterback, a seventh-round pick, you know, as good as skyler has been, you know, he's there's a reason why he went that late, you know. So I'm, yeah. I'm a little nervous about this game. I will say, though, last time Skyler had a full week of prep as a starter and playing with the first team against the Vikings, he started out really well. Like, he was, he was slinging. He looked hot out there. Uh, and then, obviously, went out with the hand injury. So that kind of gives me some hope that – going through a full week of prep like this is going to set him up nicely to play against the Jets and maybe we see something similar to that performance. And if that's the case, hopefully you can stay in the entire game because the Dolphins have the worst luck of having a quarterback start and finish an entire game. So who knows? But if he can do that and replicate that Vikings performance, then I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with that. I mean, I just hope his mentality is just to to get revenge on the Jets because we all remember that's when he really got his first start when Teddy Bridgewater got out. Uh, yep. what first play of the game they put in Tyler and just tanked. I mean, he got yeah. he got a, a few good plays, but just towards that, the final minutes of the game, it was just that was that was when they really got like a a bad time lead. You know, you know. Well, to be to be fair, it, the game was pretty close up until the last nine minutes of the fourth quarter, and what really took us out is a Jason Sanders miss. And talking about that, Jason Sanders has been the reason we've lost a couple of these games, man. That I can think of this last one and probably the Bills game as well, and I'm definitely forgetting a couple others off the top. But Jason Sanders used to be automatic, man. And he's costing us big points down the stretch in, in these games and now in the season, man. If it comes down to us facing the playoffs because of a couple of these kicks, I hate to say it, but that contract is not looking good right now, and it's five years too. Yeah, he got... He's not playing uh, at the level of his contract. Um, like you said last week, I don't know if it was all on him. He definitely obviously missed one field goal, and that was the difference between the in the game. Um, but it was just a messy game. Like you, you were talking about Teddy, how uh, can't stay healthy. What a what a mess this experiment has been with him as the backup. Yeah. Because whenever we need him, it never fails that he gets hurt himself mm-hmm. and. We just need someone that's dependable to be behind Tua because Tua has shown throughout his career that he's injury prone. And right now we're going to depend on a rookie to get us to the playoffs. It's just, what a mess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I will say, though, if Skyler can get it done and get us into the playoffs, that would be an insane story. Um, And on top of that, we need to get revenge on the Jets for that wall. I'm still thinking about that wall <laughs> when they played them last time. On top of that, the Patriots decided to do that, and people love trolling Jalen Water when he's not when he's playing with the is third doing stringer. <laughs> they love doing that when he's when he's playing with the third stringer, man. I, it makes me sick, honestly. I mean, yeah, bro, it's the most successful, I guess, or one of the most famous uh celebrations in all of sports. I mean, we saw it in the in the World Cup. So of course, yeah. if you get the chance to absolutely demolish the person that created it, you're gonna want to you want to taunt him with it. You know, it just it didn't happen last game. Uh, a, a linebacker. It did. Jair. Did. It yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. Did like, Jair I'm like saying, man. I think did he did Packers actually. Game? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I feel I, I feel like I saw him do it for some reason, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. Let Jalen Waddle get out there with the starting QB again. Let's see if this is if they keep the same energy. I, yeah. That's one thing I will say. We uh, about heading into this week and hopefully beyond if we do end up winning and the Patriots game goes our way, that we've seen teams barely squeak into the wild card, go nine and seven back when the season was 16 games and win the Super Bowl. I'm not going to say we're going to do it, but we've seen it happen. Now, if we get into the wild card at nine and eight, we'd probably be meeting the Bills again in Buffalo. If we get our team healthy in time, I'm assuming Tua should be back by then if we make it. I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But if we get our <laughs> team healthy in time, our defense is healthy, we get Toronto Armstead back, and we get the offense somehow clicking by then, 
I do kind of like our chances. <laughs> I feel like we could have a Giants type run. I'm not gonna lie. You sound like yeah. a homer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I do, I do. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. I, I do still feel that we're gonna miss the playoffs. I'm not gonna lie, but if we get in, I do feel like there's a chance. That's all I'm saying. I mean, there's always a chance, right? But realistically, I think we can get into the playoffs, but then we're one ounce bounce right after. That's probably like, the most scenario. I agree. I mean, I like even if we do have two, even if we have the most healthy team, who's played at the playoffs? It's like you said, it's a whole different it's yeah. it's a whole different vibe, all right? And and two will just be coming out of uh uh concussion protocol yet again. He uh and the last time he did that uh he didn't play uh prime tool I guess but he was playing the yeah. Steelers for nothing you know just to because we were on a losing streak all that's all he was playing for was to break yeah. a losing streak and he barely did that you know this time he's yeah. playing to keep his team uh to keep his team in the in the playoffs it's a yeah. much higher stake it's a much different feel to the game they're not gonna be home field advantage. It's they're gonna be seventh seed playing the, the second seed, which is who would be the second seed? I guess it's still determining that, right? It, it'll uh, probably be the Bills, so you know it would be at the Bills home, like home field advantage. I just don't see it happening. I just don't see us if we do make the playoffs. I just don't see us progressing any further than the first game. Yeah, I, I agree. Or it's most likely that's the most likely scenario. All I'm saying is. Is that there's a universe out there where all this works in our favor? We get it. We beat the Bills in the first game. In that uh, universe, in that universe, we have Tom Brady as QB, bro. Because that those, that's <laughs> the only person that I've seen ha- have it done. Yeah, yeah. It's in that crazy. universe, the, in that universe, the tempering works. And Brian Flores <laughs> lost on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, now I don't know if we want to talk about go over specifically what happened against. Patriots. I mean, it just we we just lost. That's it. <laughs> well, it to just... be honest, I think we were in it though. I really feel like we had a chance before the pick six. The pick six we... is what gave the momentum entirely. I mean, we were supposed yeah. to have a chance throughout the whole game. Like, I don't know. I'm tired of saying uh, of of confidently of me putting my full confidence in this team. Because it just feels like they they watch the show and they just they do the opposite to spite me. I've been saying this the whole show. I said last week that we own the Patriots, so that it doesn't matter. But we're gonna win because we have to win. And then they end yep. up choking the game. It's like, bro, what what are y'all doing, man? You're making me look like a fool out here. This you is know? literally the story of the Dolphins, bro. I've been watching this team since I was ten, man, and it, it this literally happens almost every season. Oh, I, oh, except for a few, a handful of seasons where it just hasn't been in the question. But the years that we're in it and we're in the playoff picture until the very end, this happens every single time. Like, it, to this point, it's like, I shouldn't have been surprised. I should have been surprised. Like, that, that I'm literally never going to gas this team ever again, no matter how good we are, until we've locked up a playoff spot. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those seasons that we all remember, like, how what went wrong because – we were all riding so high with this team. Uh, the, the acquisition of Tyree Kill. Remember at one point, him and Jalen Waddle were leading the league and receiving yards. It was like it was like euphoria for a little bit with this team. But right now, they, they're definitely like, they brought us back down to earth. This last performance, uh, it's yeah, it was just like everything went wrong, especially at the end, that last touchdown. I, I think it was the last touchdown by Jacoby Myers. Where no, there was, was just like it was a pick. That was the last touchdown. I mean, no, the last no, touchdown was had... a garbage time touchdown from the, from the from the Dolphins. That was the last touchdown of the game. I think oh, they had a, oh yeah, yeah their last score one. was a field goal, I think. But I'm saying no the the Patriots in the fourth quarter they scored that touchdown to Jacoby Myers that he was yeah, left okay. wide yeah, open. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Yeah, he yeah that, that, gave that, him, was, that was a dagger. Yeah, and he he was wide open. Like no one lined up on him. It was just everything could go yeah. everything that could go wrong went wrong in this game. Except that last Skyler touchdown was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I well I I think 
we like you said, the defense in that in that sense was what failed us. And I, I wanted to point it out. I wanted to point out uh Josh Boyer because he's been the reason this defense hasn't has you know fallen flat a couple of these games. I mean, at the, in the middle of the season, we were giving up like thirty points a game for like three weeks in a row. Then uh, in this game, you have that that one touchdown where um what Mac Jones just lobbed it up to an open receiver. I can't remember who it was that caught it, but the defense fell asleep on that one. Then on the third yeah, and yeah, long, that one, Jaco- Jacoby Myers, I think. Oh, okay, That's the well, one that one, okay. Um, and then on a third and long with like five and a half minutes left where the Dolphins have a big opportunity to get the ball with a lot of time to stay in the game, defense falls asleep and allows a bomb from Mac Jones. So, you know, it's like, how do you allow your defense to do that when you have playmakers on the team? Like, I know we're depleted. I know Bradley Chubb wasn't playing. Uh, Xavier Howard wasn't playing. Obviously, Byron Jones has been out the entire season. But... <laughs> On the biggest play of the season, because that that's what killed the game, in my opinion. On the biggest play of the season, your defense falls asleep. Like, that has to fall on Josh Boyd. And the defense hasn't looked good for big parts of the season. That has to fall on him. Like, he cannot – what whatever part of the coaching staff says, he cannot be part of it. Yeah, I've been seeing rumors that he's going to – he's, like, on the way out. But – the secondary is like the biggest point of concern for this team. You know, they have so, like you said, they have so many playmakers. Uh, Javon Holland, obviously, Xavier hasn't had a good season. And then we have like an undrafted uh, rookie playing starting corner on the other side. This game, since Xavier wasn't there, they had this other guy that was just getting destroyed. I don't even yeah. know his name. Bro, Keon Crossing, giving away yeah. the most blatant pass interference I've ever seen. Oh, right yeah, in that front. was horrible. <laughs> right in front of the referee, bro. Like, it, dude, just put your hands up and challenge. I, I honestly don't see why he put his body into him. Like, it was the worst pass and I've ever seen on a third. I think it was a third and long. Regardless, yeah, it was a deep ball. In, yeah, that right was the in thing front that the, of the ref. It was every crazy, time they would get they would get third and short and just go deep and get it like every single time. I know. But, yeah, um, we could not stop the third down. And it was crazy point, to me. Oh my my bad. Go ahead. I was just at this point, it should put Tyreek back there to play corner. Yeah, honestly, I was gonna say that. Like the one, this is the one time over the last five games where I feel like McDaniel has done well in terms of sticking to the run game, and then the run game just couldn't get going. And then Josh Boyer kills us by calling this awful these uh, this awful play calling on defense. Like so many. Little bad decisions, bad luck, just losing things in the in the finest margins that have screwed us this season. It's it's awful, honestly. Mm-hmm. And going into this next game, we're gonna need a defense because we all know the Jets' defense of uh, the Dutch offense hasn't been able to score a lot. It's just been field goal season for them. Uh, Skylar Thompson, I don't trust that he's gonna be throwing up touchdowns every drive. You know, yep. we we're lucky with just one, maybe two. So. <sighs> the defense is going to have to really step up and start scoring some touchdowns, bro. I don't know how else to say it. Like, that's what we're going to win. We're going to have to start scoring pick sixes, fumbles, scooping scores. Like, we're going to need to – we need to start forcing turnovers if we ever want to win this game because Tyler Thompson just can't go down the the field. Yeah. And if if we're going to turn this into a field goal shootout, at least get it within 50 because Jason Sanders is one for five from beyond 50. (laughs) But inside – 50 yards, that guy is automatic like he used to be. <laughs> yeah, he's been good this season from the inside. The, for me, yeah, the, the defense, like you said, they're not very opportunistic in that sense where they, they don't create a lot of turnovers. We saw it at the beginning of the year, especially guys like Melvin Ingram who have now like kind of fallen off. Um, it, So, yeah, it, they need to, like you said, they need to create turnovers. Whether it be interceptions, fumbles, they, they need to do something in this game to help out the offense a little bit because the offense is going to need every help they can get. Yeah, I think Bradley Chubb will be back for this one, though. And with the season on the line, I want to assume Teron Armstead is going to play. So that's going to be a plus. Uh, I just saw now that the Dolphins um, signed Mike Glennon to the practice squad. Oh, wow, really? Uh, yeah, he might. I'm assuming he's probably going to get called up because the team is moving forward as if Tua and Teddy are going to be out for sure. So there's going to be Skyler starting in the biggest game of the season. Yeah. Huh? yeah. 
Let's and pray he doesn't get injured because if not, then we have what Cedric Wilson, the the punt returner, the punt returner as QB. Oh, he's not my. even good. At, he's not even good at his position. So imagine him playing a different one. Yo, yo, put it. Yo, the Jets better have mercy and put Zach Wilson in, bro. Put Zach Wilson in as QB, bro. Give us, give us a chance, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I don't know, man. Like I said, I know they're going to take a lot of pride in taking the Dolphins out because I know damn well if we were out of the playoffs, we definitely at least want to take a division rival out. So, yeah. I guess they're going to be like waddling a... all over the field. Yep. Here, it's yep. going to be a home game, too, like for us. So, like, a loss would just be, oh, brutal. Yep. Yep. But I don't know if you guys want to get into predictions now. Yeah, sure. Let's get into it's going to be. This is probably going to be the toughest game of the season to predict because any I feel like anything could happen, man. I feel like we could win by 20. We could also lose by 20 easily, so I have no clue what I'm feeling. But I have All a prediction, right. though. You want to get started? I have a prediction, too. All right. All right. Go ahead. I predict no touchdowns. No touchdowns at all. It's going to be no it's gonna, the soccer match the whole game, bro. All right. <laughs> We're going to be scoring field goals left, right, and center. So I'm going to predict... I'm predicting we're gonna get some some field goals up, bro. I'm gonna predict 12, 12 to six as my Jesus score. Christ. Yeah, it'll be a horrible game to watch. Oh, yeah. With who winning? Oh, who Dolphin, winning? Dolphins winning. Dolphins oh, okay. winning. And do you have a prediction for Bills Patriots? Because we need that result as well. Bills Patriots. Oh yeah. my god! If it's hard because I was gonna say Bills. I mean, the Bills are gonna blow the Patriots out the water. But you're right; their their head isn't um at, in the game right now, and you know, rightly so because of their their teammate, uh, Hamlin. But <clears throat> uh, they they first need to play the 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 Bengals, right? And after that performance, I guess we'll have a better idea on how they're gonna move on to uh playing the Patriots, but. If it's the same Bills team that I've seen or that we've all seen this entire season, the Bills should have no problem like beating the the, the Patriots. So I was gonna yeah. say like what 27 14. And so you have the Dolphins getting in the playoffs. Yes, I have the Dolphins getting in the playoffs. Okay. Okay. Um I, I don't know, man. I'm I'm really nervous. Because we don't know what to expect out of Skyler. Well, okay, we kind of do know what to expect out of Skyler. We just don't know what to expect from the rest of the team around Skyler. Um, but I'm gonna very, I'm gonna choose with my heart rather than my than my head this time, and I'm gonna say that the Dolphins <laughs> are gonna win. I'm gonna say Skyler's gonna get us a touchdown. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna say it's gonna be 13-10 Dolphins. Jeez. game winning touchdown. I mean, field goal. I don't. I don't want us to be in that situation, man. But yeah, whatever. Uh, whatever, bro. Give me <laughs> Jason, Jason Sanders, Sanders. forty nine yards. <laughs> Jason Sanders. Oh my God, bro. And for uh, Bills and Patriots, that's where I think we're gonna miss out. I'm not gonna. I think the Patriots are gonna win because the the Bills. I, you know, okay. I have a talent for jinxing. Though, I'll say that. So maybe I just really gave us some luck. <laughs> but I think. The Bills, considering everything that they're going through right now, it's really harsh to, like, expect anything out of them, honestly. And the Patriots are going to be playing for it. I just think Bill Belichick isn't going to allow his team to miss the playoffs. So, I'm going to say the Patriots are going to win that one maybe, like, 24-21. And I, that's how I think we're going to miss out. I want to be wrong. I really want to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. That's That's I, devastating. I have more faith in the in the Bills than in us. Um, I think for this game, I'm gonna go the Jets to win, uh, seventeen to twelve. But uh, or seventeen thirteen. I think we we will score, and two field goals. But uh, so seventeen thirteen, Jets. And then yeah, I think the I think the Bills. You know, either two things could happen. They could either play very inspired. For their teammate, or they can, you know, like not sh- want to show up at all. Yeah, uh, I think that I think they'll be inspired, though. You know, um, I hope so. Yeah, I think that just the way that things are going in terms of the news on him, that it looks like he's getting better. 
still a lot a uh, lot of ways to go but um I think they'll play inspired I think they they can easily beat the Patriots if they really put their mind to it and yeah I think they could handle that game pretty easily probably something similar like I don't know like 28 to uh 20 21 maybe I don't know I hope it's a good game like just for the sake of it being a good game but yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be an interesting weekend uh, with a lot of different playoff scenarios and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, I think they're going to take the first game and in terms of the Bills, I mean, when they play the Bengals in that in that post, you know, um, rescheduled game, right? Yeah. They're going to play a little bit depleted. They're going to play like knock their hearts into it because that's where it happened, you know, too many reminders, right? But if they want to, you know, succeed in the playoffs and they need to get into that mentality of like, okay, now we need to play for real, for real. And I think the Patriots game would be like the good start it for it, you know? So yeah. I think the Bills will try to play, you know, uh, inspired because uh, it's two games away for them. Uh, mm-hmm. And in terms of everyone else, it, they play next week. But, you yeah. know, uh, I think the Bills, you know, that's why I think the Bills should be able to to win easily against the Patriots. I hope so. I really hope so. And I, I really hope I'm wrong about that game. But I don't know. We just I keep thinking I keep comparing this situation too much to the, the Denmark uh Christian Eriksen situation from the Euros where they rescheduled the game for later on in the day and the team just wasn't able to pull it together. Uh this is obviously different because they have they postponed it for a couple of days, but we'll see. I really hope the Bills can, you know, win because they're in a proper mental state to do so, and everything turns out all right with the bar Hamlin first and before everything, but then also to help us with our playoff odds. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, all right. Well, if that's the end of the that's the end of the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's been your boy, uh, Seven Big Waffle Rodriguez. I'm Alfredo, and for this week, I'm the leader of the Skyler Hive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And it's your boy Ant. Hope I'm not the truth next week, but I'm gonna be glad we're back in the studio. Uh yeah, we should be back in the studio next week, y'all. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.